throughout the Bible, there are different themes or motifs, subjects, and topics that, that keep coming up time and time again. So many of them point to something that is so important for us to understand as Christians, to understand God's Word. One of those things are, are often called a, a type, a, a sort of, kind of like thing that is to come in the future. Sort of like a shadow of the real thing. It's the, the dark figure and outline, so you have an idea of what it is, and, and it gives you an interesting perspective and look at that real thing of the person. And so in the Old Testament, we see a number of types of Christs. These Old Testament shadows that foreshadow and point forward to who Jesus is and what he does. We're going to take a look at a number of those. And the first one I want to look at is the very first patriarch of the Old Testament, Adam himself. Adam was the first man created by God, formed of the dust of the earth, and was given to him Eve, his wife. So Adam was the head of his wife Eve, even as Christ is himself the head of his wife, the church. And Adam has dominion over all of the earth, over everything that was made is given into his hands, so that he and his wife would rule in the place of God. Just as Christ is that King of kings and Lord of lords that rules and reigns over all of heaven and all of earth. But through that Adam, that first Adam, and through his tree, that tree of the knowledge of good and evil, comes sin. Through one man comes death into the world. But on the other hand, through the one man of Christ comes life. Through his tree, through his cross, we have forgiveness. We have the restoration of that life that was lost with Adam. And so through him comes life for all mankind. Adam, as the first man and his wife Eve, give birth to all of creation, all, all of human beings. So through Christ, all of mankind has life has hope, has that hope of the resurrection to eternal life because of what Christ has done for you. What do you value? At Concordia University, Nebraska, we value the equipping of church workers for lives of service to both church and world. In a culture where our faith can often be met with derision, our world needs ardent Christian leaders to rise to the helm and steer the next generation of Christ followers into new territory. You have the God-given gifts, we have the tools to uncover and develop them. We are Nebraska's university with values.